Okay, this is a simple video about how I think organized attacks, given the size and strength that I'm using here, depending on the map, seven squads are limited on armor and logistics to one truck instead of two. But to say you have a full team, four squads, infantry, uh, one or two armor and logistics and commander. That being said, what I'm looking at here is this is the object objective here and the logistics has set up a fob far off to the southeast or wherever here and it's off the map you can't see it here and they have set up a secret fob this one would be built up more because it's a base of fire in other words we expect to contact on it this will be hidden this fob off somewhere and the MSPs will be brought up far away on the front from the attacking force as the um, the logistics will go all the way around off map to uh, set up those fobs. Now, armor would come in on a base of fire at first as a reactionary force and the MSPs would be two-man guarded because these are expected to be hunted. That's a big thing now. Usually hunted by one to three men at tops. Maybe a full squad. Uh, two men can do a lot of damage if they have their wits about them and setting out to defend the MSPs. And the infantry squads, one and two or both, come off on the left side here, for instance, on the half attack. By well, I mean, half attack, I mean from this MSP one, I mean they are to draw the enemy off the uh, objective. In other words, put a lot more fire down. Don't be as of intrusive to the objective as the other full attack squad that way it draws them off more to the left and we will actually pull off to the left and start hunting this msp and the, the armor can actually react to that if they want to if they get overrun the, the, the objective on the half attack on from the front msp is not to be confused with the full attack the full attack these guys are trying to infiltrate they're using knives they're using secret little stealthy tactics they can to get on the objective they're also supported from the full attack on the opposite side from the secret fob which is trying to do the same thing so there's two angles to always two angles if we didn't have the south uh, we would have just this half attack over here it's a base of fire and then we have the full attack that's not enough angles the enemy needs to be surrounded to cut off where they're coming from and also suppressed by suppressing from the base of fire from here and here these guys have a field day of just moving in as these guys get drawn off the point towards these half attacks. Now, at the same time, until these things happen, as a defense, the armor can be a reactionary force. In other words, just can crawl up here and save the MSP, whatever, or take out the armor elsewhere. Or do what I call is talking fire. One round, he reloads. As he's reloading, this guy shoots around. That is a mobile pillbox delivering a very aggravating and the enemy, it's hard to move and fix them when they're being shot every other shell. Boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick, boom. That's two tanks rotating fire, talking fire. And off map, there should be an infantry squad, half of the logistics once they build their stuff, should be laying down mortar fire. And that can be used to counter some of this. And from the southern fob, mortar fire to counter some of that and all these fobs and these MSP should be one or two men guarded at least for hunting for hunters you do all this and the enemy has a hard time maintaining the defense you have to have a full server basically to do all this but if you do this you're gonna be successful and the commander will be off somewhere organizing this or guarding one of the MSPs or fobs in the south. And that's what I think a perfect attack and streamlined kind of looks like, if that makes any sense.